The project target we set for ourselves is to build an approximately $300 heart rate monitor slash plotter that takes a patient's heart rate and then plots it as a safe physical signal. And that physical signal will be drawn on the dry erase board. motivation behind this, building a CNC plotter turned out to be a little too busy. There's too many iterations of it, too many sizes, too many mediums. So we decided to build off of its complexity and add in the added complexity of heart rate sensor for the CNC plotter to plot. As of right now, we plan on using this as an educational tool to teach the different facets of electrical engineering. Claim deliverables for this project, we plan on having a 696.4 approximately budget for watts of power budget. Most of that comes from the power supply. It's not necessarily what the whole system is drawing. 10-bit ADC so that we have all the information inside the signal. 250 hertz sampling time to accommodate Nyquist theorem. 72 degrees Fahrenheit for the thermal budget so that we're not operating this machine in anything other than room temperature. We don't plan on that happening. Maximum voltage to being 24 volts, maximum current being 30 amps. That's just based off of the power supply that we had at the time and what we think the system would be able to handle slash would need at the end result. And then a plotting range of about zero to 17 inches, x-axis motor speed of 100 RPM, y-axis 400 RPM, and lifts at after about 10 seconds of plotting. And then we planned on the single being 95% accurate compared to what you would see on an EKG. Our design is comprised of two main subsystems. There is a subsystem that manages the plotter and a subsystem that manages the heart rate sensing. And each of those subsystems is controlled by a separate Arduino. These Arduinos are communicating between one another with a UART. And so the heart rate sensor is sending the, the actual signal data to the plotter and the plotter is sending back data about its current state. The heart rate sensor, or the heart rate Arduino, is using an analog to DC conversion which is sampling the heart rate sensor value, which is coming from a live patient. And the plotter Arduino is reading in these. The system software is breaked into essentially three different sections. The x-axis session has multiple different modes. One's the reverse mode, one's the mode that which is drawing forward, and the other one that is when the pen is not drawing, so it's picking up and putting it back down. The y-axis section of the software, essentially when the system is operating real time or even not real time, in order to make sure that the signal is accurate, it'll be comparing the signal as being drawn by the motors and the pen and the whole plotter to what would be seen on a digital signal that we would be getting on our laptop and adjusting based on the error that it's getting. So that's the y-axis and then there's just the heart rate timer interrupt that basically comes in and it lifts the pen up whenever it's done drawing after that about 10 seconds when it's drawing the signal. As for our current benchmarks, our power budget ended up being about 480 watts. We ended up needing a second power supply, so that drastically decreased how much would actually be pulling. But um, not, like again, that's not necessarily how much all our devices pulling collectively, but that's a maximum amount, I guess you could say, how much we would be pulling. We still ended up having a 10-bit ADC. We needed all the information in the signal. We did change the sampling time to about 180 hertz to accommodate the 60 hertz rippling noise that we were getting in the signal to help mitigate that. Thermal budget stayed the same, 30, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Maximum voltage stayed the same. We increased the maximum current by about 0.5 amps to 3.5 amps, simply because we miscalculated in the beginning. X-axis motor speed were mostly decreased, so drawing speed 100 RPM, backing up 200 RPM. The motor needed to be moving quicker when it was backing up. We had that in the beginning, but we had it moving too quick when it was backing up, and we had we ran into issues with that. And then the Y-axis motor speed, that had to be about 100 RPM as well. We had to increase overall motor speed because of the slopes or the highest peaks in the signal, what you would get in the heart rate monitor. The increase from the rest of the signal to the highest peaks, the motor speeds couldn't increase at that rate proportionally to what the rate of the slopes were increasing at was essentially what it came down to. And the torque on our motors was not good enough 
to meet those requirements. Otherwise, the pen lifts at about 11 seconds instead of 10. We didn't get an end all accuracy measurement because of the 60 noise rippling that we were getting in the signal. Any form of accuracy measurement probably would have been skewed and not really, for lack of a better word, accurate to what we would ideally get if that 60 hertz noise wasn't occurring in the original signal. The CNC plotter uses a moving average filter to smooth out the signals to help drive the motors yet still show the major peaks. Like I said earlier, challenging bottles next. Um, torque on our motors was just simply too weak. One other issue that we had was the belt. It didn't have quite enough tension on it as we would like, so it didn't maximize the amount of torque we can get out of our motors, but our motors were still definitely the biggest issue. When we were operating the signal in real time, the magnitude was limiting because, middle limited, because if the motors were moving too fast and it tried to do a signal amplitude that was too high, it would essentially overwind the motors and they would just start making a grinding noise. We decided to tone it back, decrease the amplitude, and after our demo, at the end of it all, we decided to have two different modes. One real-time mode where the amplitude was small, but it was able to draw the signal real-time with what the patient was experiencing in terms of their heart rate, and then a more well-toned signal that had contained every bit of information that we could possibly have in a 10-bit ADC, and it just had an overall bigger amplitude and more accurate signal to what you would find on a digital EKG. We will now run a demonstration of the EKG signal being run on the CNC plotter. You can see the full QRS complex and T wave that occurs during a patient's normal breathing cycle. The values can be seen continuously until the CNC plotter reaches the edge of the frame before needing to erase and reset the pen. This has been Team 9, also known as Team Sensation, with the heart rate monitor for Dr. Raza and Dr. Groff at Clemson University in ECE 4960. Thank you for watching.